In our world today, it's really easy to just think about all those big companies out there that do huge phenomenal things. Like, you know, there's the Apple, um, Apple Store is not a company, I'm sorry. There's Apple, there's, let's see what else is there, there's Google, um, there's, I guess, Kleenex. It's easy to think of all these big, you know, name brands and big things. But it's also important to remember that there are those little guys out there who make things happen. Um, without all those little guys, all those little independent developers, we wouldn't have amazing games such as Minecraft, um, and what was the one that I had on the top of my head? Um, oh yeah, um, the, the entire thought of this came to mind when I was watching a video earlier today, um, for a game called Overgrowth, which is this indie developed game that looks phenomenal. Um, it's crazy intense, crazy complicated, but it's this really cool game. And without independent developers trying to make things like this, then those wouldn't ever exist, because all of these bigger name brands are usually just trying to repeat some of the same stuff over and over. I know there are those who try and add in a few things, but in general, they just try and give you a little bit more of the same, because it's less work for them, and they already know you're going to like it, and they figure, hey, why fix it if it's not broken? But then there are also those innovators out in the field who change that, who say, you know what, I like this idea, we're going to go with this idea. And it could be completely out of left field and no one could have ever seen it before, but we're going to do it because we think it could be really cool. And it's because of all those independent developers that we get the awesome things we do in our world. Um, video games is the first example that comes to mind for me, it really is. I can't think of any others off the top of my head. And since this is very instantaneous, I'm not quite sure of any other examples, but... Without all those independent developers, we would almost never invent nothing new. We'd be sticking to th mainly the same stuff that we had. Um, technically, even Apple at one point was a independent developer, which means that um, if that didn't happen, then we'd probably be living in a and not as good of a Microsoft-only world. Um, although there'd be another small developer too, but just the way that the system will, system would work, it's because of those small guys who say that they're going to take a chance and they're going to take a leap and they're going to do something completely unforeseen. And with those people who do that, suddenly the world becomes a heck of a lot better of a place because we suddenly invent these crazy things that no one could have ever fathomed before. Sometimes it's a one-day process, sometimes it's years. But no matter what, somehow indie developers always seem to have an impact on our world. Um, I will probably post a link to Overgrowth in the description because those of you who haven't seen it, you'll probably say, that's actually pretty freaking awesome, I want that. It's in the alpha right now, and you can actually go download the alpha version. You have to pay now, but you can go download it. It's actually it's a very, very cool game. Um, so, I know this is a short vlog. I'm tired. Um, I've been running on very little sleep, so I'm sorry if this entire vlog didn't seem coherent. But the concept behind it true is true. The whole concept of the independent people having more importance than we really give them. So just th think about it that way. And this has been a random series of sentences at the very end by Griffin, who doesn't quite remember what he just talked about. In other words, I'm going to go hit the hay. Catch you later.